Hello, welcome to SS Unitex Social Decide and this is continuation of PySpark interview questions and answers. So recently one of my friend has attended interview with Deloitte. So this question was asked there. So let's assume we are having a input data frame that is having total two columns. First is the department name and second is the gender. So in the output of this data frame, we want to have the department name and how many total employees that we have. Next how many male employees that we have and how many female employees that we have. So how we can achieve this output. So you can pause this video and you can think how we can achieve it. So let's start. So first what we can do, we will be going to create total four columns. First could be your department name and second could be your male employee. Third could be your female employee in the department we can go with IT and here if the gender is male then we want to have one otherwise we'll be going to have as null. So in the second row here we, we can see it is having the female so this time your male will be null and your female will be one. Once we'll be going to generate this data frame then we can go and simply create one more data frame that could be your final data frame. So it will be having department name and total employee and then the male employee then the female employee so here the department name will be IT and the total we can get the count on the group by department name so here it should be have four in the male employee we can go and sum of this male employee column that we have created similarly the sum of the female employee that we have created here so by using this approach, we can simply get it. So let's jump to browser and we'll try to see in practical. So here, let me try to execute this cell for creating this data frame. And it is having the same data that we have seen in slide and Excel. So now next, as I told you, we can simply select the department name column. So we can go with department name. So df1 dot department name and this would be df1 not the df here we can use the when condition so when function is not available directly so we have to use the pyspark dot sql and we can import this when function so inside the when function we can simply check df1 dot gender if this gender value is male then we want to have one and let me put the alias of this as male employee similarly we can also do the same thing for the female and this time we'll be checking this as female and here the alias we can put as female let me put this into another data frame that could be df2 and let me use the display of this df2 so it should be having total three columns first is the department name second is the male employee and third is the female employee so till now we are good next we can simply go with df2 dot group by in the group by we can specify department name next we can use aggregate and inside this df2 we can specify your count so the count function we can simply use for checking the total number of employee so total number of employees we can go with department name so we can simply get the count of this department name and let me put the alias of this as total employee now next we can also go and try to do the sum of this df2 dot mail so this will be total male employee so let me put the alias of this as total male employee the same thing we can also do like sum of this df2 dot female so this will be your total female employee let me put the alias of this as total female employee let me put this into display then we'll see the output of this so it should be going to have the output as expected if we can scroll down so here we can see we have the department name as IT 
it is having total four employee three male and one female in the hr department we can see total five employee all those are female so in the male we can see null and here we can see the sale so in the sale we have total six employee four male and two female employees so by using this approach we can simply achieve it so i hope guys you have understood how we can write the query for getting this output so thank you so much for watching this video see you in the next video